Hi, this is John from Waukegan, Illinois. Um, I'm going to start a new quad copter here built. It's my smallest quad yet. It's a uh, 130. I got it from RC uh, X or R, my RC Mart, which is a RCX H130CF for carbon frame. Um, the package was $90, uh, which included your motors, your ESCs, your power distribution board, a couple sets of propellers. Um, what you need to provide on your own would be your uh, FPV gear, your antenna, transmitter, and camera and mount. And uh, you also need your uh, radio receiver. I'm going to use a small, uh, Banggood had one of these, uh, a small um, receiver for my FlySky 6i. Um, I, uh, it comes with a CC3D. I like the naze boards. Um, I have a, an extra one of the full size ones that I might drop in there since it's easy. I don't think weight's going to be an issue. So um, this is my um, start of my build. Um, I put the motors on. I'm, uh, this has uh, fairly large size motors for 130. They're 1407s. Uh, with a KV of 3,800. Uh, the KV should work fine, but the size of the motor is a little big. Normally they're 1104 on this size frame. I finished out the build for my, my RCX uh, 130. It was a fun little build. Um, I, it takes a couple hours to put together. Um, one of the difficult parts are the ESCs. They're on the arm. I use 20 amp little B's ESCs. You have to run the wire underneath them and then you loop it back and solder them on the top uh, on the soldering pads. Um, the motors, like I said before, are the uh, RCX uh, um, 17 or uh, 1407s uh, by 3800 kV. Uh, it's a great little motor for this. Um, I have two other quads with these same motors, that's why I kept this size. If uh, you're just starting out, you might want to go with the 5,000 kV motors. Those would work great for this size, a little faster. Um, the uh, other, one of the other small items that make these uh, 130 size possible is they reduce the size of your radio receivers. I have a, uh, it's about the size of a thumbnail, and I stuck it underneath the power distribution board. It has a little copper antenna wire that comes up, and they work for oh probably up to about 200 yards or 200 meters would be about the maximum range so for a little park flyer backyard flyer they work great they only weigh a few grams um, the power distribution board comes with it i use that and i put a nas board with pins for the escs uh, to connect to it um, so let's take this out oh um, yeah final weight like i said is this weighs 186 grams without the battery my uh, 180s weighed uh, 231 grams and 264 grams, uh, so it's uh, 50 to 80 grams lighter than my uh, 180s, and it makes it, it's real maneuverable. It really makes a good uh, backyard flyer, uh, small park, sidewalk type flyer um, because of its size. You could fly it almost anywhere. Let's take it out for a flight now, and I'll give you my final comments. I'm going to do some line of sight flying first, LOS, and then I'll do some FPV flying to show you what, how the quad flies. Basically, it flies great. Um, it's very maneuverable, um, stable. Uh, I've had no problems. It uh, handles crashes well. Uh, doesn't even break a propeller uh, most of the time, although I have broke a few propellers. Uh, but overall, it's just a great little quad to get. Um, it works great for backyard flying, sidewalk flying, small parks. Um, it's you would not want to fly like a 250. You could use this instead. So it gives you more opportunity to be flying. You don't have to pack up and go to a RC park to actually fly. Although you still have to be careful. You have a fair amount of weight, but you're not going as fast. And um, it's 
pretty maneuverable. Uh, so I think it's great for a small quad. Uh, possible changes is I would look maybe at doing a four-in-one ESC board. It'd be an easier build because it's hard to get those ESCs on the um, arms. Uh, there's only about a sixteenth of an inch clearance. Um, I'd also um, use a little bit larger FPV camera. I tried the 1177 and it didn't quite fit, but something between uh, the quarter inch, maybe a one third inch uh, CMOS camera. Propellers, um, I would definitely change out the 3020s that come with it for 3045s or either tri-blade or two-blade propellers. Uh, as far as the quality of this goes, it's um, the um, RCX motors are first class, they're well balanced, the bearings are good, they run quiet, and I've had no real problems with them. Um, the ESCs, the little bees, again, those are high quality ESCs, and for $90 for the pack, which includes your uh, frame, uh, motors, ESCs, uh, power distribution board, um, I don't think it'd be hard to beat. Uh, they also charge $10 shipping and you probably have to add $30 for FPV gear and $10 for your mini receiver or micro receiver. So you're looking at price of $150 for this quadcopter. So if you're looking at getting into a 130 size quadcopter, uh, this would make a good choice uh, if you're looking for one with uh, quite powerful with uh, good motors on it. Um, I'm looking at maybe doing another build. I would use the 1105 motors. Uh, saves about 40 grams and probably a smaller battery uh, be another 30 grams. Um, so that'd be my next build that I'm hoping to do. I'll probably use an X-Frame, uh, their little X-Frame. Thank you for watching and look at some of my other videos. Thank you.